as the most important benchmark and also the most representative one of the Hong Kong stock market, the HSI needs to grow and evolve to keep pace with the market development. And we can see over the past 15 years, actually Hong Kong stock market underwent a very big structural changes. In terms of market value, it increased by 460% to Hong Kong dollar 46 trillion. And the proportion of the mainland companies also increased from 41% to 79%. And in the recent two years, we can see as well is that IT sectors overtook financials as the largest industry in the Hong Kong market. And I think if we see three years ago, we see the first WVL came to Hong Kong. And then two years ago in 2019, we got the first new economy stock came to Hong Kong in the form of the secondary listing. We can see the Hong Kong market is actually changing very fast. And that's why we need to um, undergo a study about the composition of the HSI to ensure it can keep the representation of the Hong Kong stock market. To what degree do you feel that the removal of the heavy weighting towards old economy stocks is potentially going to help the Hong, the Hang Seng Index on the global stage in terms of its international appeal? Mm. I think um, the overall objective for us to enhance the Hang Seng Index for this round is that actually we want to make it more balanced and diversified. You can see two very clear direction on that. One is that we preserve the elements for the Hong Kong. So we try to balance Hong Kong and mainland. The other one is that in terms of the constituent selection, we are going to be based on the seven industry. It is another way to, in, to make the index to be more balanced and diversified. And in each industry, we target to have 50% coverage as well. So that we want to make sure we have enough industry representations in the Hang Seng Index and not biased to any particular segment on that. And also, I think in terms of the number of constituents we are expecting to 100 and also the weighting we are down, uh, we, we, reducing to 8%, all these kind of directions are trying to make the portfolio more balanced so that uh, it can be a better representation of the Hong Kong market.